Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to Quick Tutorials. We have a requested tutorial on making a picture slideshow presentation. Here's what we'll be creating and please feel free to request a tutorial. So let's get started. Create a background and a title. Then create a null object and parent the previous layers to the null object. With the null object selected, hit P on your keyboard to bring up the position parameter and click the stopwatch. Move forward in time and animate the parented elements to go off screen. Add your starting picture and duplicate it. Put the duplicated picture underneath your title layer. Duplicate your title layer. Set your duplicated picture to alpha matte. If the track matte options are not available, click toggle switches. Cut your duplicated picture layer to the last keyframe on the null object. Click on the text layer above and hit T on your keyboard to bring up the opacity. Animate the text layer to fade out before the slide up animation ends. Click on your original picture and go to Effect, Distort, Optics, Compensation. In the Effects Control Panel, click a check into the box next to Reverse Lens Distortion. Then click the crosshair under the View Center parameter and click where you want the center of your animation to be. In my case, I will move the crosshair to the couple in my photo. Then click the stopwatch for the Field of View parameter and move forward in time. Then increase the value to your liking. Finally, go to Effect Time CC Force Motion Blur. This will add motion blur to your animation. You might want to adjust the shutter angle for best results. For extra movement, animate the scale parameter on your picture to zoom in. The shortcut for scale is S. Add another image and position it just outside of your current image. Create a null object and parent the two pictures to the new null object. Add a position keyframe for the null object and animate the next picture into frame. Repeat the steps we have previously done to create an interesting slideshow presentation. Be sure to enable motion blur and save your project. Thank you for watching. Please let me know if I need to do a more in-depth tutorial and let me know if you liked or disliked this video. And remember, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you soon.